Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance. I know if this is your first time watching, my name is Mel. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday teaching you to learn to love yourself, flaws and all, trust your intuition, which is what this weekly angel guidance segment is all about, and to manifest your heart's true desires. So three massive things that I cover and I really hope that it helps you on your journey to become your greatest version because you know I know how it feels when you may be a little bit lost and you're going through changes and you're like why is this happening and I feel like the weekly angel guidance is the perfect episode to keep coming back to every single Sunday and it just helps you deal with what's going on and understand why you're feeling these emotions um, I'm not too sure if you guys follow me. I hope that you do. Follow me on Instagram at Melanie Kate Love. I went live a couple of days ago and I was talking about my experiences of what happened during the balsamic moon. And towards the last two days before the new moon in Taurus, oh my gosh, I was so tired. Like I'm talking so tired that my eyes... I had like blurry vision and I was like, what is happening? And my body's like, just rest. I'm like, I've got so much to do, but not really having stuff to do. It was more like organizing stuff in my new house. Anyways, we won't talk about me. If you want to find out more about me, follow me on Instagram and I'll do lives and I'll chat with you a lot more. Anyways, let's get cracking. This is a beautiful, beautiful week. Oh my gosh. We're starting the week out in the crescent moon. This is the perfect time to refine your intentions. So your affirmation for this phase of the moon is, I refine my intentions and allow the universe to guide me. Okay, so then, oh, I love this next phase. Then on Tuesday, we move into the first quarter of the moon phase. Now this is all about taking action. So your affirmation is, I take inspired action and allow the universe to guide me. The key word in that one is inspired action. What do you feel drawn to that you need to work on? Because sometimes in the new moon, we're like, okay, this is what we're going to do. And then the crescent moon is like, yep, I've planned it all out. And then when it goes to taking action, you're like, I don't feel inspired to do this. This doesn't feel in alignment with my true authentic self. What is happening? What do I feel a pull that I need to spend more time in? And whatever that is, just go with that flow. Okay, then on Saturday, we're going to move in to the gibbous moon, which is asking us to trust the process. <laughs> you ready for your affirmation? I trust the process as everything is always working out for me. Now that's a massive one. If you don't trust where you are, then there's resistance in your vibration. And when you have resistance, when it comes to the receiving phase of the moon, you're not gonna be receiving all this delicious goodness. Um, so there's a lot going on and I hope that this helps you through your manifestation journey. I've had a lot of requests to do manifesting with the moon. And yeah, so if this is something that you would like to see, just comment below and I'll make a, another video for you for our Law of Attraction series. Okay, so are you ready for the weekly angel guidance? Oh, by the way, this is just a general reading. So just take from this reading what feels to truly best for you. And the way that you're going to know that is because at the end of today's reading, you're gonna have a message that's gonna stick into your subconscious and it's gonna say, oh, you need to do this, this and this, or um, have you thought about this? Or maybe something you hadn't thought about before just comes to the surface. I've had a lot of people message me last week um, saying that the last reading for the new moon in Taurus made them quite emotional and things that they hadn't felt before came to the surface and I was like, wow, it's so beautiful. So just take from this what feels best for you and I really hope that you enjoy this weekly angel guidance. All right, so today we have the angel tarot and we also have the shadowscapes tarot. I'm feeling a lot more confident with this one, so I'm gonna start out with this and then maybe interchange with this one throughout. So um, yeah, because this is my primary deck this is the one that I've, I just have so much love for it. I don't actually, 90% I love it. There's some images and I'm like, ah, I wish you had some images from here. It's just all over the shop. I think that's why I like multiple decks because I haven't found a deck that like I 100% love every aspect of it, but this one is pretty flipping close. Okay, so this is from May the 21st to the 27th. All right, let's get these cards out of the way. 
All right, angels, what do my beautiful MK Love fam need to know? For May the 21st to the 27th. What do they need to know this week? Okay. Okay, the first card, holy flip, is the Queen of Earth. She is powerful. Oh my gosh, I pulled this card for a private client once. Um, who was it? Morgan, she just messaged me this week. Um, and Morgan, if you're watching, hello. Um, and this one is so beautiful because it's kind of like, it's like you've got the power. You can visualize it in your mind, you can manifest it into reality, and you already have because you have this pot of gold in front of you. This is someone that is like, um, you know, sensible with money, um, can get money really quickly, but maybe has troubles keeping it. Um, it says, make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. So it's like being sensible with the abundance that is coming your way. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Ooh, what comes up for you when you see this one here? Because this new chapters always present challenges because it's like, you know, last week we were talking about making long-term plans and it's like, yeah, as you were making these long-term plans, things are gonna come up. Maybe you haven't dealt with the amount of money that you have before and it's like, okay, I need to be sensible with this. Just because I have it doesn't mean I need to spend it. That's in regards to abundance. Um, okay, let's get clarity on the Queen of Earth. I got told one more card of this and I had to read to the next deck. My angel's like, I've been trying to win you up for ages. Oh, there it is. Oh, another one to do with Earth. Okay. I don't like this card, but it's kind of like, you know, she's got this money like here, but isn't there two lots of money? I just don't like the illustration of her face. Let me just, okay. Let's look at this card and then we'll move on to the next deck. So it says being too frivolous or too cautious with money good business decisions giving to those less fortunate. So this one is talking about the challenges. So it's like you're going backwards because you went from the queen all the way to the four. The four is also stability. So it's like you want to have your stability. Maybe it's like you're trying to save more money. This could be like you taking like a sensible job to help you long term with your goals. That's what I'm going through right now. So I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket and just focus on my business because then there's resistance in my vibration and that's why I've applied to re-register as a primary school teacher so I can have consistent money coming in but also work towards my hopes and my dreams. So it's like, okay, are you being too cautious with this? What could, what could you allow to maybe get rid of? Or, I don't know, I just don't like the, the image of this one. Like she's got the money like chained around her, but it's in front of her. But her, I just don't like the look on her face. She's kind of like, I don't know. I just don't like her. <laughs> but she's come from like this castle behind her. It looks like, like the castle is like empty and barren and just gloomy. I just don't like this one. That's my perception of it. Like, what do you see when you look at this card here? I don't like it. I'm just gonna move to the next deck. And this one gave me a pain in my chest. Why do I have a pain in my chest now? Okay, let's get clarity on Queen of Earth and Four of Earth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God. I've already shuffled these cards, so I'm just gonna pull this one. Oh my gosh, we got the flipping Queen of Wands. Okay, so. The energy is definitely very different in this one. Is she, what is she playing? She's playing like a harp, but it's a live harp using like some of the trees. I don't know what you'd actually call it, like maybe the vines. And I feel like with this one here, it's like, okay, maybe making those, making time for those around you for the queen of earth, maybe that is like finding this new balance in this new chapter. Like how do you find your balance when things are new? Um, that's something that I've seen quite a lot. Um, It's like everything is working out for you. Like the Queen of Wands, it's like once you find this new balance with this week, it's like I feel like you've. Did two cards say balance or did I just hear that in my head? Because the four is like the balance. I feel like once you find this balance, you're not gonna have this funny look on your face. I don't, I just don't like her. <laughs> um, 
but you are the queen of earth. It's like you have the power to manifest whatever you want into your ability. I think it's just, it's just this card. This is the one that I just don't like. So it's like, okay, maybe this one is like a bit of a warning sign to just be like, okay, are you taking too much? Do you need to give to other people to find the balance? Um, I, uh, are you are you making like careful like decisions? Do you need to like what is your intuition telling you instead of your head? You know, go with with that feeling because that's always going to lead you to your highest good. And the highest good is like vibrating in the frequency of love. This is like pure bliss. This is like being respected, and this is like being in alignment. This is it's just pure pure bliss. Let's pull another deck. Another deck, another card. So we've got Queen of Earth, Four of Earth, and Queen of Wands. So that's your passions. So I feel like the abundance is coming from these new passions that you are working on, which is giving you this newfound stability. But at the same time, you're like, I've never had this before. Ah! I'm gonna save, 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 save. Or it may not mean like money saving. It's like, I don't know. What are you, what are you holding on to? What are you holding on to? Ah, what are some of you holding on to from your past? Like for instance, if you're living in a house and you haven't actually cleaned a room in a very, very long time, what are you holding on to? What do you like? I, I don't know if you guys have been following me for a while, but if you have, you would have seen my Komari series. It was a three um, video series. It was probably about a year and a half ago. The videos did incredibly well, like over Oh, last time I checked it was like 35,000 views and in those videos I talk you through um, Maria Kondo's method the KonMari method which is keeping things in your life that spark joy like literally all of your clothes I want you to like chuck them onto the ground and there's a method in which to follow I explained it all in the video and she has an app to help you and you pick up each item and you use your intuition to say like does this spark joy if you're not sure and you put it down then your intuition isn't speaking loud enough to you which means that this is not the right thing for you and this is something that I do in every aspect of my life in regards to like the clothes that I wear um, in regards to the friends that I keep um, the books that I read, the decks, like I'm going to be getting rid of some decks soon because I'm like, you know, my old Oracle ones, they don't spark joy anymore. I feel like I've outgrown them. I went from Oracle to Tarot. Anyway, so I feel like this one is more like finding the balance. What surround yourself with beauty. If you're not, if you are like in a relationship that is so detrimental to your body, your mind and soul, what the heck are you doing? Or have you gotten to a place where you have gotten rid of that person, but you still have the possessions in your house? Or are you holding on to an old relationship? Are you holding on to like work uniforms from a place that treated you like a piece of crap? I feel like you're being too cautious. You need to just release the things that aren't serving your highest good. Wow, that's a lot for this week. So we're refining things. So maybe that's part of the action phase. You're getting rid of things or, and you're trusting that everything's gonna work out. And you're like, oh, I don't wanna get rid of that old picture because it had, I spent 20 years with this guy. And it's like, okay, you have the memories in your head. Keep the good ones. You don't need a visual cue because by holding on to, to excess baggage, you are, you are stopping the flow of abundance into your life. Oh, wow. Well, oh, there we go. Oh, the Ten of Wands. We had this last week. Did we? Or did I pull this in my own reading? <laughs> I can't remember. I've had so many. Okay, so this one is like holding on to, this could be like holding on to things that are like weighing you down. Or this could be like you are, um, it's just heavy on her back. But it's like a miniature town. So, and there's Ten Wands. Ones equals passion. Or maybe is your energy dispersed in too many ways and you're like, I'm working on this, 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 and this. Like, can you see all these different like ones that are lit up? I don't know, what do you see? I just see that she's like, <sighs> then I heard, she's got the whole world in her hand. She's got the whole world in her. But this could also be like, your imagination but I feel like this is more like things weighing I just get today I just feel like this is things weighing you down 
It's interesting because each time I pull cards, I get I feel different feelings for them. And I feel like this is, I think this is you being too cautious and too frivolous. I feel like this is the card of the week that we really need to work on because I, I just don't like it. <laughs> it's like, why are you holding on to things that don't serve you? Why are you, like this could be like holding on to like friendships that are weighing you down. Are you surrounding yourself with like toxic bullshit people? You know, like, you deserve to live a life of abundance. You deserve to have best friends that worship the ground you walk on and that are so excited to see you. They just like cuddle you like, oh my God, I missed you. And you're like, blah, blah, blah. you just have like the best time ever. Um, yeah, so I feel like these two cards kind of like correspond with each other. It's like, what's weighing you down? What are you being too cautious about? Maybe you're like, I shouldn't throw this out because one day I might need it. It's like, really? If it's, if like, I always think of it as if you're throwing something out, would you go and buy it again? For instance, if that's a book. Oh, wow. Come marry this week, eh? Maybe this is cleaning out. Cleaning, like, it, it could be like literally cleaning out your body, your mind, and your soul. Like what food do you have in your fridge? You know, are you eating life-giving food? I've totally noticed the way that I have been eating since I've moved to Mackay. I've been eating, like, I would say mainly raw. Um, high, uh, maybe I don't like to say high raw. Um, yeah, high raw diet. I'm not restricting myself like um, I have in the past. I'm like, yeah, I want to eat this for breakfast. Like, what did I have for breakfast? I don't really feel like breakfast these days, so it's kind of like just a couple of pieces of fruit. And then lunch, I'm like having... Um, summer rolls where it's like rice paper rolls i fill it with veggies and i make this beautiful satay sauce oh my flipping god i've gone through a whole packet of um what do you call it like rice paper rolls in like a week I, yeah i'm just like ah oh, it's just so good which is crazy because it's getting a little cooler whoop oh no i dropped them okay so i saw two oh, if i can get them up one Okay, so the first card, ooh, we're getting a lot of wands today, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so the first one that I saw is a two of wands. So this is totally, this is all about your ch this new chapter. So this is like, when I see this card, it's like surveying the land. It's like, I always see like a scene from, um, it's a circle of life. Oh, the Lion King, it's like Simba. This is your land now, you know, like that's what I see. It's like, this is your, you need to like mark your territory. That's what I'm seeing. And it's like, you have this beautiful lion who's the protector um, around you. And it's like, you're, you're looking at this new chapter. Maybe you're now looking at this new chapter through new eyes as you clean up all the crap that you've been holding on to. And as you do that, you're feeling so much lighter and you're like, yeah. And then I heard, I got the eye of the tiger, the fighter, dancing through the fire, cause I am, oh shit, I don't know the words, and you're gonna, oh that's off, me roar, yeah, we're gonna hear you roar, right, you're just cleaning up your vibration a little bit. Okay, then the other card that came out was also the three of wands. Whew. This is like, she's got, okay, what I really love about this one here is that she's stepping into territory that most people are too flippin' scared to do, you know? And she's like, she's gone right to the edge. Like, it takes courage to go out on there by yourself. And she's got this beautiful flow of water around her. She's got all these beautiful mountains. So she's in Mother Nature, but there's nothing there. It's like untapped. I feel like this is your untapped territory. And it's like, you're going where people haven't gone before because you want to get the results that you've never had. And, but you have a little cat. Is it a cat? I don't know what it is. What do you see there? This little cat here. And you've got like the sun. Well, then I heard the sun. Down, 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 down. Shine down on me. I don't know what that song is. I can't work it out. But this is this is like. I just feel like this is. This is you doing things that you haven't done before. Maybe for the first time ever. 
<laughs> For the first time in forever There'll be music, there'll be light First time in forever Everything's going my way Oh, that's from Frozen! I've played that in a reading before Oh my god, I haven't even watched that movie in forever Alright, let's get another card <laughs> How crazy is this? And then all this one also reminds me of like the Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, what else do we need to know? So this is a lot of like getting rid of what doesn't serve you. And then this is also like you really like surveying this new land. Like this is this new chapter. This is, I feel like this is something you've never done before. Or you're doing this in a, yeah, I just feel like this is something you've never done before. And you're freaking out a bit. That's kind of why you've got this girl here, the Four of Earth. And she's like, I don't know if I should do this. Is this safe? It's like, stop thinking with your flipping head and stop listening to what everyone else is telling you. Because are you taking advice from people that have the results that you want? Probably not. Because the people that normally break you down and say all these horrible bullshit comments are usually the people that are too scared to step out and... And then I heard that song, I want to break free. Like they're too scared to break free, you know? They're too scared to even walk out onto this cliff, but you are doing that because you are saying, I am where I am and it's okay. Everything is working out for me. I surrender to the process and I set myself free. And you're trusting this. You're trusting your inner guidance. And if you're like, oh, I don't know if I can do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You need to start programming your mind for success. How do you do that? Download my free self-love starter kit because I teach you three fabulous strategies. It's been downloaded over 555 times and the reviews on my website, oh my flipping God, amazing. I feel like maybe just a couple more cards. What else do we need to know? Something just flipped then. Oh my god, we got the page of wands! Everything's to do with the wands today, which is... Oh, mate! Look at her! As soon as I saw this card, I heard, I can show you the world, shine and shiver in splendor. Show me, princess. I'm probably getting the words wrong. Did you just let your heart decide? Yeah, when did you let your heart decide? I can open your eyes. Take you wonder by wonder A whole new world Yeah, it's a whole new world, all right? Okay, then the other cards that came up was the Six of Wands. No joke, I have shuffled these cards so many times and now we're getting all of the wands. This is kind of like, this is my, this is my domain and it's like, yeah, I did it! Like, this is what I'm doing, it's like, I'm breaking free. I want to break free. And yeah, you've done it. You've done it. Oh my God, all of these songs. Oh, the world. Don't you dare close your eyes. A new fantastic point. So funny, this week I've been watching so many Disney vlogs. I kind of was a little bit reminiscent um, this week and last week too, maybe it always happens when I start new chapters. I always go back to an old chapter. Not that I ever want to go back to where I used to be, but I, I'm not too sure if you know, I used to work on the Disney magic, the cruise ship. And I, I don't know. I was just interested because when I left, that's when they took, um, the ship to Italy for dry dock. And it was a brand new ship that was made. And I've been watching everyone's vlogs to see what the ship now looks like. I'm like, Oh my God, I used to work there. And it's like, it's like, this is this whole new world that's opening up for you. It's like, you don't need to go back, you know? The Six of Wands is just such a beautiful card. It's like, you're, you're, you've regained, like, it's like you have pride and you have, um, it's just like a celebration. It's just really great energy. It's like, you know that you can do it. And then we got... Da, 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 the Emperor. So in this new, the Emperor is just about structure, logic, discipline. He's very much like, he's just about organization. That's how I feel. He's like, okay, this is your new chapter. Okay. You've started to clean out everything that no longer serves you. You've surveyed this new land. We're going on this beautiful new chapter, but 
you need to have structures and supports and supports could also be people in place so that you don't fall off the wagon and this doesn't become too much for you like I don't want you to be you don't want to have this burden of weighing you down you know like you're the flippin' queen of earth mate oh my god what that is like abundance power just pure delicious goodness and that's what I feel for you this week I feel like you know when you're refining what you want like Think from what does your heart want, not your head, what do other people want for you around you, you know? For this for this month, for well, this moon phase, moon cycle, <laughs> um, I've said that I want to really, really knuckle down and start organizing my one-on-one -on -one online coaching program. And I'm like, okay, so in the refining stage, I'm like, what steps do I need to take? That's what I'm going to be doing on Tuesday. Then come on, no, that's what I'm doing the end of the week to Monday. Then Tuesday is the action phase. I'm like, okay, what do I need to do? And I'm like, okay, well, make sure you turn on post notifications on Instagram because there'll be something dropping very, very shortly, which means I have a lot of work to do. But I know I can do it. I'm, I'm going to a new land. I'm surveying this new land that I've never been on before. But I know that I can do it and I know I need to step out of my comfort zone and it scares the absolute bejeebus out of me. And I'm like, oh my God. It's like, yeah, you can do it. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> a whole new world. Maybe that's what I call this new. I don't know what I'm going to call this reading, but maybe it is going to be a whole new world. For me and you. Yeah, this is beautiful, my loves. Such a beautiful week. Just watch my Komari series. I'm going to link it in the description, I think. Maybe we'll put on the end card. I really want you to start komari different aspects of your life because Komari is like using your intuition in your house. I don't speak about this very much, but it uses it in your house. You can use it in your car. You can use it for, you know, paperwork. Just getting that structure and this organized. And I feel like that is massive for you. And that's where the emperor comes in. He's kind of like, okay, show me like, you really need to have a plan of how this is going to work. And as you take action, yeah, things are gonna go well, but you need to have supports in place. For instance, your self-love practices, like, okay, what do you need to do to program your mind for success? For instance, before I film today, I was like, okay, I need to go for a run. I went for a 2K loop around the area in which I live, and I was like, okay, that's quite good. I'm like, okay, that's great, because I need to do that to raise my vibration, help me sweat out and release toxins in my body so I can channel my angel messages a lot clearer. I was like, okay, what else do you need to do? Well, the night before, you need to have planned your four videos that you're filming today so you can just go for a run, have breakfast, do hair and makeup, press record and go on camera, and then finish up one because that's when my mom comes home and I can't use her studio anytime. And okay, so then what else do I need to do? Okay, and then in the afternoon, we need to edit, upload, do a thumbnail, the description, Instagram story media, Instagram media, have all of that ready. That's a lot. So, um, and then edit the other videos on another day. <laughs> but yeah, you, I feel like the structure is massive this week. Like the ones cards is just beautiful. Like I love it. I'm so excited for you guys. Please comment below and let me know what came up for you t this week. And um, yeah, I'll be responding to you from 7 a.m. till 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. That's Greenwich Mean Time plus nine. If I don't get back to you, then I'll get back to you maybe at another time. Um, but yeah, please make sure you turn on the bell and subscribe so you never miss another episode. Oh, by the way, I did a poll in the community tab here. Um, if you go on my homepage and then go across to community, click on that and there's actually a poll. I actually asked you guys... Um, I was thinking that, um, you know how I take four days of social media on the balsamic moon? I was finding it really difficult to get a video ready for the new moon, um, for that Wednesday video, which is normally like a law of attraction self-love video. And I was like, well, what if I do like a QA and a live tea time um, for that first Wednesday back on the new moon? Um, that way I wouldn't have to, because I was trying to get it ready in, well, no, I didn't. I was like, no, I'm having just melt time. I'm not getting this ready. I was like, but I run a video for you and I feel like that would be a great way to kind of, you know, chat to you guys. I've never done a live on Inst on YouTube. I do lots of lives on Instagram, 
but I have better internet here, so we'll just give it a whirl and see what happens. And yeah, so much going on. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna stop talking now. Um, yeah, have an amazing day. I'll chat to you in the comments and I'll see you on Wednesday. All right, I love you so much. Goodbye.